What we are looking at today is yet another wild week in the life of Cyrax, and this week it hit him pretty hard. Because as you can see on the stream here, uh, Cyrax is having a memorial show to Jason David Frank. Or maybe it's a different guy named Jason Disvid Frank, and Cyrax is just, you know, he knows something that we don't know. But he's talking about this dude Jason, because he was the guy who played the Green Ranger back in the uh, the old Power, uh, Power Ranger show. And Cyrax here, he feels like he lost his father. Because Jason David Frank is someone who Cyrax himself claims he sees as a father figure. Now, sadly, in another flippin' attempt to try to get off of YouTube and away from the trolls, Cyrax deleted all of his videos on his channel again. And so sadly, I can't find this video where he just makes this death all about him. The dude took his own life, and Cyrax attributed that to, look at all these people who take their lives every day from trolling and all this. He made it all about him. Because you know damn well, when something bad happens to someone else that's even moderately close to Cyrax, his whole world falls apart, and it just shows him that, you know, people need to stop messing with him. So basically, Cyrax been a sad little Cyrax this week, and we're gonna cover it because he quit YouTube again, then came back, then quit again, now he's currently on another YouTube sabbatical. And like always, we're just gonna look at the wacky shit that Cyrax did, because as there is every week, there is tons of wacky shit. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Now the first two things I just wanna get off the bat in the beginning of this video is, number one, old William Glory Hole got his channel taken down for some bullshit reasons. Now, he has another channel up, and William's, uh, he's back kicking it, he's back making some awesome videos, so I got him linked in the description below. Go to that channel, give William a sub, because like, it just, it's bullshit. Bullshit. I don't know if Cyrax had anything to do with it because he constantly reports these guys' as channels. It's all fair use shit, at least I'm pretty sure it is. Nonetheless, it's funny shit. And as long as funny shit's on YouTube, then YouTube's a cool place. So go over, check out William, help him get back up to where he was because they, they, they fucking... I, I don't know. I hate that shit. You just kick someone's channel out of YouTube when there's so much good content on it. It's, it's bullshit to me. It's bullshit. Another guy I want to shout out, shout out. I shouted him out last week too, but he his channel really helps with all these re-uploads of Cyrax's streams. His name's Bustin' Gently. Uh, he's down in the description below. All these streams that Cyrax delete, this dude usually has them on lock. So go check him out. Go give him a sub. And, you know, also, let's just throw Marty in there. Marty's streams are always the fucking the best. So go sub to Marty, too. A lot of y'all have always asked me where to find, like, real Cyrax uh, content where it's just nothing but Cyrax screaming and yelling. And those guys' channel is usually a good place to go find it. So, yeah. With that being said, though, we're going to jump into this video. And you might be wondering what the fuck's been going on on screen since the beginning of this video. And Cyrax's memorial for Jason David Frank is really just him trying to wail on his guitar, impress David or Jason or Frank, whatever the fuck his name is, from beyond the grave. And I'm pretty sure he's just rocking out down there um the thing is though like this this stream we're watching right now didn't have any like real sound when cyrax was talking and it's only like a, a muffled sound whenever he's playing his guitar so it wasn't the best memorial to to jason but i'm pretty sure the the thoughts all that counts but now to start off cyrax's week we got to go back to a stream called i am not okay where cyrax talks about how not okay he is and we'll just see the the sad goblin sulking in his attic and you know we'll we'll try not to we'll try our best not to laugh which will last about a good 15 seconds what's up everyone he doesn't even look like a person he just looks like a, a black background with a face and a logo you know everybody's been asking me lately am i okay am i okay kind of looks like a rabbit too are you okay what's going on And the truth is, I'm not okay anymore. This fake-ass crime bullshit. Five years ago, I started getting bullied on the internet. And I did my best to ignore it. Bullshit. This stream wouldn't exist if that was the case. I did the best I could to ignore the trolls and the bullying back then i didn't know what a troll was i thought it was just that thing that i saw every time i looked in the mirror i had heard the term thrown around but i never knew what the term troll meant until this one time when i tried to cross this bridge but little did i know i would find out 
very soon by the hands of a guy by the name of Music Biz Marty on YouTube. This man trolled me on and off, you know, for a pretty good three and a half years. But then two years ago, because I didn't do what he wanted, he decided to do something that would ultimately change my life for the rest of my life and still has been affecting me to this very fucking day. This man hired another troll by the name of Mass Troll Mafia, who, who used to go by Mass Hole Reports, whose real name is... She pretended, he hired her to pretend to be an 18-year-old female on a phone call. And then she catfished me into sending her a certain image. Of myself. It's so fucking rich to see him sit here and literally explain how he got caught. <laughs> he got caught being catfished by someone who's pretending to be a 14-year-old girl and how he fell for it and would have went for it had he not gotten caught. But he wants you to feel sympathy for him. And the way he's going to do that is explain it really quietly and constantly make these faces where he's just like, Oh, God, I just tasted a lemon. Oh. No, oh god, now she did it to me. Like he's he's so he's just trying to manipulate people here. He's literally describing how he got caught being a pedo and trying to use it for sympathy. It doesn't work like this, Cyrax. And you know, a, a couple seconds ago there, I censored out the name of Mass Hole Reports because you know, if you've ever watched a Cyrax video, you've heard him probably scream her in real name 10, 15 times in a fucking in one single stream. But I'm not about to sit here and put her real name in this because people like her and in my opinion people like marty and william glory hole they've done nothing wrong to the point where they should be doxxed you know cyrax you're a fucking pedophile like you you literally you, you tried to talk to a 14 year old you, you raped a fucking blind kid back when you were in high school and you've admitted to all these things and you still continuously do all this bullshit every day so and you've also doxxed yourself here cyrax but when you try to go out and say all this shit about all these other people and try to give out their real information for what cuz they exposed you for being a fucking pedophile that's why people like cyrax are so dangerous cuz they'll never see the error of their ways and constantly keep blaming other people and trying to put other people in danger for the things that they've been exposed for like nothing that mass hole did was wrong she exposed you she, yes yes she catfished you she tricked you like sorry cyrax you got tricked you fell for it you're still the one who true really took the bait hook line and sinker and tried to talk to a fucking 14 year old and even sent her a picture of that inflamed bird of yours like bro you can't be mad at mass hole for this and i know if he ever heard this which he i know he won't because he hates talking about he hates hearing criticism and i know he'll never watch one of my videos for more than like two minutes until i say something really critical of him but for christ's sake like these people, Marty messes with you. Glory Hole messes with you. Mass Hole, I don't know if she still messes with him, but yeah, she messed with you before. But it's because of all the bullshit you've done in the past. You've brought this all among yourself. The pedophile shit being the, the highest among them. The second you did that, bro, like you can't you can't come back for that. I've said this in many videos before that you can't come back for that shit, but it's the God's honest truth. And poor Cyrax here, and uh, you, it's the only time you'll ever hear me say poor Cyrax after calling him a pedo, but he... His, I don't think his brain comprehends criticism well, or not well, just at all. He can't fucking help himself. You say one thing to him, he's just immediately thinking in his head of every swear word and slur he can call you. So it just, it's the one thing about Cyrax that I always just kind of like put my head in my hand and go like, oh, stop. Like, you're not convincing anybody that these other people are the villains in this story when you're the one who talked to a 14-year-old, diddled a blind kid, hit your grandmom, keep your family up all night while they're recovering from these surgeries that you claim are so barbaric and traumatizing and so hard to get to get you know to recover from 
but you are the good guy, right? You, Cyrax, you're the good guy, the same one who screams at everyone to off themselves whenever you get mad, but then when you want to turn around and become the advocate for suicide prevention, you're the bad guy, Cyrax. And you can sit here all day and act like, I'm a good guy. I'm a good dude. I don't know why these people think I'm a bad guy. Being in your Discord server, talking nice with people who only agree with everything you say doesn't make you a good guy. What makes you a good guy is not talking to a fucking 14-year-old, and that's exactly what you did. So in my book, piece of shit. And little did I know, she would turn around Send me an image of an underage child without my knowledge or consent. Pretty sure you sent that picture of your bird without her consent either, but I guess you're not going to bring that up. And then claim to be underage after she sent me the image of the underage child. But yet, YouTube and social media or the police didn't do anything about it. But little did I know that would change my life forever because after that event, after that event happened, I've been called pedophile, I've been called every name in the fucking book you can imagine. I lost my job with a friend. I lost my spot on a big time major record label that I had worked my ass off for years and years to get onto. Basically what he's doing here is he's really, he, he's trying to garner sympathy from people because, you know, all these people call me a pedophile now. And the reason they do that is because I, I was being a pedophile <laughs> online and, you know, this, this shouldn't be happening. This, people are calling me these names. This needs to stop. <laughs> and then, you know, his delusions really shine through at the end where he's like, and I got kicked off of a major record label, and my, I lost my job with my friends. Like, yeah, because when news about that comes out, Cyrax, you're going to lose everything. And the delusional part there is him thinking he wouldn't lose it when the pedo news came out, but another huge delusional thing is thinking that he was part of a major record label to begin with. I had been released from that label due to the accusations. I can't even get a regular job because of the rumors that these people have spread about me around town. That, th that, that's half true. Yes, I don't think, I think getting a real job for Cyrax will be a lot harder now that all the, the pedo stuff is out there about him and all the, the tons of like, the videos and all, all the shit online about Cyrax definitely will be hard to get a real job. But don't sit here and blame the trolls for the fact that you can't get a real job. Because even if you even if the trolls weren't around, you still wouldn't want to get a real job. Cyrax's idea of a real job is him being able to just scream on YouTube every day, scream all of his songs that, you know, he's not even really singing half the time. He just plays a song on YouTube and screams over it and kind of thinks people are just like, wow, like this is this is amazing. And he thinks he should be able to do that all day and get paid for it because that's what he deserves. Where it's like, Cyrax, if the trolls and all these people who mess with you weren't around, you'd be getting two views on YouTube and it'd be people who just so happen to stumble amongst your stream and then they'd leave about a second later. This isn't a real job. If you want a quote-unquote real job, get out into the real world, go start at McDonald's, work your way up, maybe go back to school. I don't even think that's possible because you spent so much time there to begin with already and learn nothing. Um, I, I don't no. He, it's been said before, Sally said it, that he, he thinks that he has to have a job online. He can't do anything in the real world because he only wants to do jobs over over the internet. Cyrax has said before, you know, well, Daniel Radcliffe never had to work and he became famous, so why should Cyrax have to do it, you know? Uh, he has a very delusional grasp on the workforce and now it's only even more polluted because of the trolls happened and everything. And now he has, he has an excuse now to not work because because for the rest of his days, if Sally ever asks him, hey, can you get a job to support this family? Now he can just kind of say, oh, well, the trolls aren't going to let me get a job, so I can't do that. Just got to go back on YouTube and hope my music blows up. And that's why he'll constantly be in this cycle of never really, just never, never being uh, productive in his life. Everywhere I go, I get horrible, horrible looks. I get people staring at me every fucking day of the week, which is why I never go out. 
And just a couple of weeks ago, these same trolls that have been attacking me all these years decided to try to kill me while I was on a live stream. Oh my God, this shit again. About two and a half weeks ago, I was on a live stream calling out the person that started all this trolling, which is my ex, Candle Smith. It was around 10 o'clock at night and I heard a loud sound. I heard a loud bang go off. Didn't know what it was. I thought maybe something had fell. So I naturally, I ignored it and went back to doing my stream. But little did I know that that's not what it was. My good friend Dustin told me to rewatch the footage. And I did. He told me to pay attention to when the blanket jumped up in the air. And so I did, and I saw it when the bang happened. So naturally, I pulled my bed out to see what it could have been. Little did I know, there would be a bullet hole in my windowsill and a bullet hole in my mattress. Right where my head would have laid. He never, he never makes sense when he describes this whole shooting situation. Because for one, he talks about how there's a, a hole in his windowsill. N bullshit. He's never, he refuses to show his window. Every time someone says, show your window, he says, why? Why do I have to show you? Or he says, I've already shown the proof when he's never shown it at all. And the bullet hole in his bed, for some reason, I, I think it's on the other side of the window. Like, it's just, it's, the, the trajectory wouldn't work there. But in Cyrax's head, it must have just, you know, ricocheted off the walls a few times before going into his bed. Uh, something that he didn't notice when it happened. It was just another ridiculous thing to bring up that, you know, when he first heard it, he didn't realize anything. But later, when he was talking to his friend Dustin, who's clearly a fucking troll, <laughs> the fact that Dustin would tell him, go rewatch your thing again, Cyrax, you'll notice. Look at the, look at the bed jump, the blanket jumped. That was enough for Cyrax to go, holy shit, you're right, it is a bullet. Um, but... It's just like, God damn it. Like, you really, you, it took you that long to realize this was a shot. Like, because I was watching that stream when it happened, and he was just sitting there, kind of moping around, went back to yelling and all this. If it was really something you would have noticed, I mean, he was looking right over in that direction anyway. You didn't notice the window crack right then and there. Like, you, you didn't notice anything different. You just, but no, it took him a couple days to realize it, and now he's all but convinced that the people were trying to trying to take him out with, like, a sniper on his neighbor's roof or something. This is going to be something, again, like I was talking about with the trolls not letting him get a job, that he'll be saying for the rest of his days. Anytime someone says the trolls aren't a big deal, he's just going to say, well, they tried to take my life, so, you know, this is really something I have to worry about. Uh, the, the bigger issue here, and the thing that um, I've been wondering this whole time, is... Why are his grandparents, well, his grandmom, why are Sally and Ed, like, just, just agreeing with this? Like, have they not walked in the room and seen this? The only reason I bring this up is because Sally and Ed, well, I think just Sally, but Sally's called the cops on Chance's behalf now to report this. And it's like, I, I wonder if she's just, like, fed up with all of his screaming about it. She's just like, fine, 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 I'll do it. Well, if she is doing that, then, you know, she really has to stop, like, feeding into these delusions. Like, walk up in the room yourself. Say, where's the bullet hole? And when he can't show you it, tell him to knock it the fuck off. Don't, f like, just, don't just jump into his delusions with him and say, all right, I'll call the cops for you. Like, this is just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I feel, like I said, I've said it before, I feel like Sally and them not fucking just really sitting him down and telling him to knock it the fuck off or he's out of there is what's going to be the inevitable downfall of Cyrax. I mean, shit, the downfall is already in place and happening in real time. But still, I mean, for fuck's sake, like, in this situation in particular where you're calling the cops to report an attempted homicide, for f just, just do your own investigating, Sally. The room is right upstairs. And if you don't see the shit, then stop feeding into the bullshit. But yet, the police won't do anything to stop these people. They say that, oh, it's just an internet thing. Get off the internet. No, because getting off the internet doesn't help. 
I genuinely think when Cyrax talks about, like, reporting the trolls to the police, and especially with the shooting situation, he expects the cops to show up, say, all right, Chance, what's going on? And when he says, all right, guys, you know, they shot through my window and all this, and it's it's all leading back to these guys, Marty and Glory Hole, he thinks the cops are just going to be like, all right, let's go find these guys and take them down, Chance. And then no more questions asked. All he has to say is, they shot at me, I shouldn't have to say anything else. But he gets annoyed when they ask him the question, okay, is this just another beef you have on the internet? Because then he his whole argument crumbles right there. He's like, uh, yeah, it is, and they don't give a shit when it happens on the internet. Because to him, he thinks like they should just go into Marty's house and Glory Hole's house, guns a-blazing, the second Cyrax makes a complaint. But the other issue here, and the biggest issue, is when he says, oh man, they tell me to get off the internet, and no, that's not gonna work. And the reason I genuinely think he believes that is for these little, like, these little YouTube breaks he takes every week where he's gone for like 12 to 24 hours he thinks in that in that like day span the troll should just immediately forget about him so that he can freely hop back on the internet the next day and act like nothing happened and continue his music career without the trolls being there that's why he thinks getting off the internet will never do nothing because he gets off for like a minute and thinks the second he's off all right cool everyone's gonna stop bothering me now like no cyrax if you want it to work get off the internet for like a year like, a, a year or two, maybe, and maybe people will forget about you. But you can't just leave for a couple hours and expect everything to just go away and come back and then bitch and moan when it's not. Dude, today is actually a really good day. I'll admit it. Today is a damn good fucking day, dude. A lot's gone on in the last 24 hours. And I mean a lot. I dropped two remixes. Well, one mashup and a dope ass remix, which I know you I know you guys really enjoyed. But more importantly, one of my biggest bullies here on YouTube is finally gone. I don't know for how long, but William Glory Hall, one of my biggest bullies, has been banned from YouTube. I've gotten so many people in the comments over, like, uh, the amount of time I've been making videos on Cyrax, telling me how much they hate this guy, how angry they are at him. Well, look, I'll give you guys a little piece of advice here. If you want to get back at Cyrax in a really non-threatening way, go subscribe to William Glory Hole. It'll make him so pissed off. I, I brought it up in the beginning of the video, but really, Will William's videos are awesome. He's down in the description below. To piss off Cyrax, go give Glory Hole a sub. I promise you, with each click, Cyrax's rage is just going to grow a little bit grayer and greater. How long he's been banned, I don't know, but hey, it's a day to fucking celebrate, man. One of my biggest fucking bullies and trolls is now gone. And Ian, Kehaba, good morning, guys. How is everybody? How are you guys? Chance is showing off his new beanie today. I guess he got that in a two-for-one special with that free-to-be-awesome shirt. But hopefully, you know, and even if he does have a new channel, hopefully he did learn his lesson. You know, hopefully he learned his lesson and, you know, hopefully he learned to not screw with me anymore. Hopefully. Again, it's so rich. <laughs> the Cyrax, the Cyraxisms today are just, are just off the hey, charts. Nunzio, Him telling someone else, I hope they learned Hopefully their I'm lesson. Right. Coming from the man that's never learned his lesson ever, you know? If you learned your lesson, you wouldn't be making all these videos poking at the trolls who you are so fucking afraid of when they're actually there right in front of you or on the phone with you. You freaked the fuck out when Glory Hole was on the phone with you. But now that his account's deleted, oh, Chance is going to sit here and act like a big man like, oh, you know, no one can touch me now. Yeah, I just looked. He's gone. He's done. I'm literally looking on YouTube right now. He has no channel. Like, his stuff is literally gone. So his account that he had everything linked up to is gone. I just looked. William Glory Hole OG, I just looked. It's gone. So all his channels are basically done. Which means I can finally come back 
relax, and do some coffee and chill streams and hang out. And have fun with you guys, man. I threw this clip in here because I just wanted to show you guys Cyrax's attitude when someone who he doesn't like's channel goes down. You've seen how Cyrax acts when the trolls get his channels taken down, but when he wants to do it to them, it's all cool, whatever. We've seen the freakout Cyrax has had over losing his channels, but he'll gladly sit here and laugh and, you know, be so happy about someone else's channel going down. And that's what you gotta keep in mind with Cyrax, you know? Complete hypocrite. He hates when things happen to him, but loves to do shit to other people. Because, like I said, with this... With this video right here, I think it at least, like, it like kind of confirms that he, all his reports and all that shit, he was constantly reporting Glory Hole's channel. He believes that he's the reason it got taken down. I mean, shit, that's the reason he said, uh, that I hope he learned his lesson, you know. he. I, I think Cyrax thinks that he did this. And, you know, even if he didn't, he definitely reported Glory Hole's channel a bunch of times. And since he's glad taking uh, accountability for this, well, then, you know, like I said... When Cyrax's channels get taken down in the future, no one should feel sympathy for the guy. Hey, what up, guys? How long do you think it takes him to lie in this video entitled Speaking the Truth 1000%? What is up, what is up, what is up, what is up? So, I'm in fear is that that little douche is back. But it's all good, though. You want to know why it's all good? Because that little douchebag glory away and shit. Like, and I can tell you all exact, bro, I can tell y'all exactly why these motherfuckers ain't on me. It's because I'm the hardest worker in the fucking room. Yep, there we go. And hey, by the way, Glory Hole, your beat that you posted up, bro, is trash. I mean, it's good, but it's not my level where I'm at, bro. You ain't on my level, and you never will be on my level. See, you're down here. I'm way the fuck up here. Yeah, the lies are already coming out in full force. Now, it's funny to hear him say like, to anybody, you're not on my level. You're not like, you know, you're not where I am right now. First off, uh, William Glory Hole, uh, his alter ego, Wance Chilkins, released this amazing track called Drift King, which is better than anything Cyrax has ever done. And you see, that's the thing with Cyrax, though. He sings his, he thinks his guttural screams and his, his weird, like, singing voice is like some type of great music, when in all actuality, like, it's not... It's not hard to be a better musician than Cyrax. You see, let's just let let's take a second right here. If I was Cyrax, you know, if I was Cyrax and I was sitting there and I was thinking, you know, I want to write a song that speaks to people. I want to write a song about my life. I want to I want to write some music that actually means some shit. I'd write something like C to the H to the ants to the Wilkins. He's coming outside, so you better hide your children. He's out of his room and he's ready to rock. And if he wants to get you banned, he'll simply whip out his cock. You see, Cyrax, it's not that hard to really write your own music. You don't have to steal other people's. Uh, if you ever need some help, I could I could help ghostwrite for you, you know, with some bars like I live on Lloyd Street. This is where I'm from. Grew up on bikers and mosh pits and had no mom. But I had a grandma, that bitch's name was Sally. Every night her crib is louder than a street race rally, cause I spend all night telling the truth what's what and then i get offline and shove my stylus up my butt but you know maybe i'm wrong here i i feel like cyrax's bars are way heavier than mine and you know he doesn't need my he doesn't need my help or nobody else's help but the thing is you know it's it's always funny to hear him claim that he's so above everybody else when i've never heard a bar from cyrax that was like just anything without the word like in the motherfucking motherfucker when the motherfucking this and that you know he's he he has a uh, he has he has one one bar, and it's the word motherfucker in different tones of voice. But, you know, you can't blame Cyrax. When you have all the adoring fans that he does, why would you ever change? The people love it, so keep on giving it to them. See, people don't like me speaking the goddamn truth. <laughs> what was truthful about that? People hate when I tell the truth. They hate it. They don't want to see a motherfucker like me win. All right, Kodak Rex, slow down a little bit. So they run around and do all this garbage crap for no reason. And it's funny. 
And something gorial. And why don't you just step up to the mic? I suggest not doing what you're doing because you're going to lose. And bad. And if you want to find out how bad you're going to lose, go ahead and step up to the goddamn mic if you got the balls. See, if I was Glory Hole, I'd be shaking in my boots right now. You do not want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a music giant like Cyrax. Next thing you know, he'll be coming at you with bars like, This is the story of a little man who thinks he's got skill. He's as sober as a Buddhist, but looks like he takes pills. Not only that, but crack and dope and fent and meth. It looks like drugs are eating him until he's got nothing left. But he's so overly confident in his music abilities as Cyrax. I mean, I genuinely believe. Like, say, I don't know, say like Little Wayne from 2008 just walked through Cyrax's door. Cyrax would look at him and be like, dude, I would trash you in a rap battle right now. Like, you don't even understand. I mean, hell, you posted out that beat earlier, so step up, rap on it, do something. Because I guarantee you, I will fucking take that beat you made, I'll spin that bitch around, I'll use it, and I'll fucking destroy it. Ah, Cyrax, doing what he does best, talking about stealing someone else's beats, talking about stealing someone else's music to use as his own. He thinks he'll make it better, but really he just just makes it oh so much worse. I wish I heard this beat that Glory Hole had made. I could probably find it pretty easily, but I'm too lazy to. But dude, I just find it funny as fuck that everybody hates the fact that I tell the truth and how it really is. That's why Glory Hole hates me. Yo, Ron Draper, CEO, what up, dude? But for real, though, man, that's why Glory Hole hates me. He hates the fact that I'm doing shit that he wishes. That he fucking wishes in his wildest dreams that he could fucking do. That motherfucker can't fucking throw a goddamn football and hit the broad side of a barn of his damn life dependent on it, bro. No, Cyrax, what's really funny is you acting like you're so superior to, to William Gloryhole, a guy you've never even seen in real life in all these things, you know? You're superior to him in music, which we've already covered is not the case, because if you were, you'd be dropping bars like, Hey, little man, there's something that I gotta ask you. Why's your creepy dad living up inside Alaska? Is he afraid to come back because he knows he'll get smacked, or is he afraid that his son will follow up in his track? You think that you can rap? Boy, that's silly. Everyone can see that you suck, even Blind Billy, and he felt it too because you raped him, dude. You probably would have done it to the 14-year-old too. Like, it's that easy, Cyrax. Come on now. And another thing there that he brought up about Glory Hole, talking about how he couldn't even hit the side of a barn with a football. Cyrax, we've seen your body makeup. If you threw a football hard enough, you'd be in Tommy John surgery by the end of the week. I would love to see that dude go hunting. I would love to see that dude shoot a deer from 600 yards back. I'd love to see it. Because that dude ain't got no balls. He's got no drive. And to be honest, he's a shitty person. The point being, the dude fucking is garbage is what I'm getting at. That was a metaphor. That was a metaphor to, to go based with me saying, you know, let him fucking try something because he won't fucking do it. Him saying that is a great time to remind all of y'all that William Glory Hole's alter ego, Wance Chilkin, showed up out front of Cyrax's house uh, a couple weeks ago. And Cyrax, once again, stayed inside, didn't go outside to confront him, and then later got on a live stream and laughed about how he was on the other side of my street. He really didn't come over to my door and knock on my door. Like, I can't be fucked to have to walk across the street. He couldn't really come over here. Like, And now he wants to sit here and say, yeah, he ain't about shit. It's, it's, it's one of those things about Cyrax where it's one of these days, man, one of these days, he's going to see one of these trolls in person and all, and he's literally going to shit his fucking pants. Like, it's funny as fuck. Like, this dude really thinks, this dude is really sad. I mean, I honestly feel bad for the guy. I do because he's so, he's so fixed. Yeah, God, I can't talk this morning. 
Oh, there we go. Yep, gotta let the scabs breathe so he can articulate better. Yeah, not as fuck up in this mug. But for real, though. The dude's fucking garbage. Yeah, so his little speaking the truth 1000% stream is just him talking about how Glory Hole's garbage and he's a shitty person. Never once points to any proof of this other than talking about the shit that Glory Hole's done to him, which was pretty rightfully deserved if you ask anyone who knows Cyrax. Um, but, you know, that, that's how he speaks the truth. He just says whatever he thinks is right, and then he claims that everyone hates when he's speaking the truth. No, I don't think anyone hates it. Everyone kind of just laughs at it and kind of is just gobsmacked by how... By just by how delusional you are, Cyrax, you know, just just saying all this stuff with no proof, just call, name calling people for an hour straight isn't you speaking the truth, it's just you being a spiteful little bastard. Something compelled me to make this video. And for those that know about the death of Jason Duke Frank. A lot of you guys know how much he meant to so many people, especially his daughter, Jenna, who wrote a very, very heartfelt post on Instagram and Twitter. You gonna steal it and turn it into a song like you did with Lost Innocence, Cyrex? Um, for those that don't understand why I mourned the loss of Jason David Frank so much, And let me tell you, my dad, as a kid, was never around. I never had a father figure growing up at all. So for me, Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger, Tommy Oliver, And that was my father figure growing up. Oh, really? That's that's interesting. Depending on your actions, I, I would have assumed that Bill Cosby was your father figure. So when Jason passed just the other day, I felt like I had lost a member of my family. I felt like I had lost my dad. And so as you do when your dad dies, Cyrax had a 45-minute electric guitar memorial stream <laughs> dedicated to him. So, after a couple days of crying on the internet again about everything under the sun, Cyrax came back with a stream talking about how he had to leave the internet again, and he's not coming back this time, and it has a lot to do with Ed's, uh, Ed's knee replacement surgery that's like, you know, that's just an absolute burden on the family that's making Cyrax have to cease operations on everything, and yeah, this would be the end of his streaming career, for real, for good this time. That was until 12 hours later when he came out with this live stream here entitled Update 1. What's up, everybody? Um, no, I'm not back, but I did want to give those of you that have been reaching out to me an update on everything since I've been gone. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing good. I'm doing fine. I'm not, you know, like... I'm not, you know, in any kind of danger, I'm okay, and I'm fine. Like, his whole thing, this whole time while he's been leaving YouTube over the past few weeks, has been that he has to take care of his family. He has to take care of Ed, who's getting this knee replacement surgery. Sally just had a mini stroke. But, you know, he, he wants to assure everyone that he is doing okay. Don't worry, guys. Cyrax is all good. His aunt and his, or his aunt, his, his uh, grandma and his step-grandpop, you know, they're, they're doing just fine. You don't need to worry about them. You do need to worry about Cyrax. It's so alarming to see the the little amount of care he actually does give to his family he claims that he fucking does everything for these people but he doesn't give any less of a fuck i highly doubt he even leaves his room other than to take a piss go eat dinner I actually come to think that he probably just pisses in the corner of his room but you know he really should do something nice for ed something like uh maybe a song maybe uh maybe a song that goes something like 
Let me tell you about this Hills Have Eyes motherfucker. He likes to talk to kids and smack around his grandmother. And one time he tried to do it to Ed. He fucked around and got clocked in his tiny little head. Raxy leaving YouTube, this is his finale, then he's going downstairs just to slap around Sally. Trolls are coming to his house to make him feel the same pain. Sends Gollum ass to heaven to post up with Zach Hussein. Ed's in the hospital, undergoing surgery. Grabs the doctor, screams, help me, the goblin's trying to murder me. I see him in my dreams, I see him in my kitchen. I hear him every night because he won't stop bitching. I think Ed would really appreciate that one. It would just be a nice gesture for Cyrax for all these nights of keeping them up and just <laughs> giving them all this bullshit. All this, is, this, this being the cause of all this bullshit going around in their household. And you know, they really gotta be going through it now with the constant flood of people constantly coming through their house. And that's where I want to end this on today is talking about that because I, I don't really I don't really know how to sum this up because Cyrax here has had a pretty dull week. There's no freakouts. There's just him bitching and moaning like he always does. But on the other side of the coin, Marty's streams have been pretty pretty lit. I'm not gonna lie. I, I I've always tuned into Marty's streams because you always get the 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 lowdown on Cyrax and what's going on. But over the past few weeks, Marty's been going quite hard. To fuck with Cyrax, sending scrappers from Craigslist, sending all these types of people over to Cyrax's house for miscellaneous things, and really like do. Is, is a part of me like, man, this is really fucked up? Of course, of course I am. Because I'm like, oh, this is, this is just too much. But on the other hand, am I like, is the degenerate in me just like <laughs> laughing like Spongebob and Patrick in that scene in when they're in the classroom with 25 and 26? I'm trying not to laugh, but like hearing Cyrax pick up some scrapper's phone out of his hand and just start yelling, Marty, you need to leave these people alone. It's, oh, come on. It's, it, like I said, it's... <laughs> Maybe, maybe I'm a piece of shit for laughing, but man, it doesn't get me sometimes, especially when I'm really high. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's a circus at the Cyrax residence. And if you're interested in any streams like that, like I already told you, all you gotta, I got Marty link in the description below. He goes live at least once every couple days, mostly once a day. Some, some quality shit over on that channel. And other than that, that's really been all Cyrax is up to. He's on his little YouTube bye week, and maybe he'll come back in the next few days. I mean, he's already back now. He was doing a live stream, like, as I was recording this video today. Um, but, you know, he'll, he'll claim he's leaving again, then he'll come back and say, I'm not back, guys. Don't worry, I'm not back. This is just me giving an update, even though that 100% means you're already back. If you weren't back, you wouldn't be doing this update at all. But that's... That's how the uh, that's how the crooky the crooky crumbles. That's how the cookie crumbles when when your chance Wilkins. I really don't got much else to say about little Cyrax this week. I uh, I found these little clips that we we looked at pretty entertaining, but it's not him screaming. You know when he's freaking the fuck out like Marty, you need to stop like that type of shit. Like that's when like all right, all my chips are in. Like I, I need to make a video on this. But I saw Cyrax and how delusional and how hypocritical and like just how just how wrong he is on everything he says. And it made me go, you know what? This is this is absolutely. It's time to make another Cyrax video. Laugh about it. And I hope you guys had as good of a time watching this as I had making it. And I'm also sorry if you thought the raps were cringe. I just it's another thing. Got really high the other night and thought that'd be funny. Um, but yeah. I like to thank all you guys for always watching these. It always means a lot to me that you all chill out and like these. And um, yeah, thank you very much. And now, as we always do, I'd like to give shouts out to Vanessa, Cody Hale, Club Doom, Scaly Schisms, Echo Spectre, Kaitan, Feenland's Party Place, Churlish, Pythea, Your Mom, Mick Surly, Adrian Lara, Sky Fitzpatrick, Alright Stingy, Isaiah, Akiba's Beat Fan, Blake Austin, G-Man, Gypsy Pauls, Trademark, Cyrax's Stylist, Vaga, Commander Louie, Krabby, Justin S., The Ghostbusters Fan, Steve from Machete Squad, Chef Meme Maker, Italian Boy Advance, East, Chris Chance Fanta Bottle, Cyrax's Stylist, and Music Biz Marty's Bong. And if you guys enjoyed this, I, uh, I really hope you did. If you got to the end of this, you know, all yous who got to the end of this are fucking goats. I say that every time. These are long videos. I Sometimes I wonder how, how yous even sit through them. But 
I, I, I'm happy as do because I love having you here, and I can't thank all of you for the support. Even clicking on the video, just watching it, even if it's for one minute and saying this sucks and putting a dislike on it, hey, thank you for the criticism. And uh, even though YouTube doesn't let us see the dislikes anymore, which is still mind-bogglingly stupid, um, I can see them, and I'll know if I'm doing shitty. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And until the next one, uh, I guess I'll, I'll see you later and take care. One thing I did want to say before I leave, though, is I was late on this video. I wanted to release it on Thanksgiving. So since I wasn't able to do that, happy Thanksgiving, y'all. If you're from America, happy Thanksgiving. If you're not and you don't celebrate it, happy Thursday. The weekend is already here now, so that's lit. But yeah, uh, my hat just got attached to my couch. It's fucking annoying. But um, other than that, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Until then, take care.